Greetings. I am Miss Blue, the Soulful Oracle, and this is Planet Remix Radio. Welcome to Planet Remix Radio, where we cover all things that has to do with you growing up on planet Earth. It is the greatest place to be in the Milky Way galaxy. So I invite you, I invite you to join us, to join us on this cosmic ride as we explore what it's like being spiritual beings growing up on planet Earth. What a time to be alive. Planet Remix Radio. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Well, welcome, welcome everyone. I'm Miss Blue the Oracle. And first of all, let me just start out by saying happy 2023. 2023. I mean, who would have thought? 2023. Yeah, yeah. Welcome. Welcome on into Planet Remix Radio. It's so good to sit down and just have this conversation. We're going to get ready to dive in deep. I have a few things that I want to I want to share with you. I want to share with you. But the first thing I want to share and really just ask you is how are you feeling? And I mean that. How are you really feeling? And if you didn't take an opportunity to check in with yourself, Please, please, come on. We're going to start the year off right. Check in with yourself right now. How are you feeling? So much has gone on, you know, not just personally, but in the world. You know, you think back four years or five years ago, and we are in a different space, no doubt. Doesn't matter what you believe about anything that science has to say. Doesn't matter if you believe what religious teachings tell you or some of our ancient writings or predictions that people have made like Nostradamus and even those that have been close to us in our families. We are definitely in a different place. Now, I say we have entered into the new world and we've been here for a while. But it's going to get even, <laughs> it's going to get even more stranger, more magical, and more beautiful. More beautiful. Yeah. And more divine as we continue on this journey of growing up on planet Earth. So I trust that you all are doing well. I trust that you are able to get a touch, a peek of a little bit of sunshine and some fresh air today in your life. So good morning, good night, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where in the world you are calling from or listening in from. By the way, let me say this. Whether you're listening to this as it is being broadcast, because I'm actually uploading this, it's going on YouTube first. And by the way, shots out to everyone on YouTube, all of our subscribers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> our soul family out there. And I just want to say thank you to each and every single one of you. As you know, YouTube is kind of a new platform. It isn't, but it is to us. I'm just so thankful we're able to really make a connection 
with our soul family on YouTube and do it our way. So thank you all for us reaching this very, very significant landmark of 10,000 subscribers and growing on YouTube. Now, of course, you guys know across the board, we have more than 8 million listeners all around the world. And just coming from blog alone, blog talk, more than 4 million listeners and subscribers. So I want to say thank you to each and every single one of you. Yeah, for being a part and coming here. And oh, by the way, if you are new, and this is your very first time listening to Planet Remix. Let me be the first to say welcome. And uh, thank you so much for tuning in. So no matter how you're listening, like if you are in your car, I want you to go ahead and turn it up. If you are maybe walking the kids to school, if you still do that, if it's still such a thing. I know I certainly enjoyed it when my children were young to walk them uh, to school. It was an opportunity for me to get out and get some fresh air, kind of clear my mind. Also to put them in the right vibration and frequency as they were going to school. Um, so whether you're walking your kids to school or maybe taking your, you know, your doggy out for a little walk today or you're headed out for work, wherever you're listening from, or even if you're chilling at home, you know, uh, if you're watching this, whether it's on YouTube or you're listening on iHeart or some of the other platforms of iTunes or, or listening on Audible, however you're listening to, turn this up and make sure you subscribe. Yeah. So I thank you all for tuning in. I'm not going to be too long. I want to talk about some things, so many downloads and channels. And I know you all are feeling this as well. Like dreams have been off the Richter Dam scale. First, we have crossed over energetically. Of course, we know this isn't the new year. Like, let's not kid ourselves. But we do understand we have gone from the year of 2022 into the year of 2023. And that is significant. And let me tell you why. Because we know... Numbers are representation of vibration and energy. It carries frequencies. In fact, the whole universe is made off of the binary code and also some other codes we don't even have names for yet. We don't even have a way to describe some of the frequencies that's out in the galaxy. So this number of 2023 is so significant. And if we look at some of our ancient systems, it really, really will help you to decode this. Because if you look at 2023 and you add it up all the way across, it comes out to a seven. And we know how powerful that number seven is. It's one of the more spiritual numbers that is in our number system. The number seven. We got seven days in the week, seven energy centers, the chakras, seventh heaven, you know, so many things that is connected with the number seven, lucky number seven, and boy, could we use some luck on planet earth. So now we are in 2023. And I'm just going to tell you my overall view of everything, this energy that we're in. Yes, it has a lot to do with faith. You're going to have to keep the faith this year. We're going to need that. And not just because that's where this number aligned to, but this is also the year, a very spiritual year, a year for us to be very introspective, to go within and quite frankly, we have worked so many years, so many years on really uncovering and learning more about who we are. And even though everybody's on a, you know, we're all on our own journeys here, even though we choose to do it together in so many different ways, but we're all at very unique points in our journey. 
And I know that if you're here, (laughs) there are some very, very special and magical things about you. And we're going to talk more about that. But this is really a year for you to grow up, to grow up more than you've ever grown up on planet Earth, you know? So whether you're just at the beginning of this journey and you're really searching for who you are beyond maybe who you thought you were, or maybe you've been on this journey for a long time and you think you know who you are, at least you did. But now you're sort of questioning, is this, you know, this the path that you want to take? Or maybe your soul is seeking for something a little bit more meaningful, And you want to contribute or you want to help in the world or there's something you want to share. To me, this is what I call the year of the psychic. Yes, the psychic. And I will tell you as someone who has really been operating in my psychic gifts for hmm, professionally more than 13 years. I know that everyone on the planet is psychic and we're all really waking up to these special abilities inside of us. Now, I'm romanticizing that just just a, just a little bit here, just so you can get the point. Because truly, I don't believe that that's anything special. I don't believe whether you're clairaudience or clairsentience or clairvoyance or if you can talk to spirits or dead people, whatever you say, I don't really feel that you're special. In fact, I know you don't. You're, you're not. Because this is something I've assisted people with doing my whole entire life, while even still learning myself how to really harness this energy. It really is a part of your birthright. And now that we're in this year, this very, very spiritual year, that seven, if you look at it, just pick up a pen, a piece of paper, and write seven. And if you look at it, it looks like a lightning rod. Because often it is said, this is how we bring heaven down to earth. It is a lightning rod to connect us to our intuition. And with so many things going on on the planet, we need our intuition to really be front and center and be a partner with our intellect. We are not going to be able to survive thrive, and ride these cosmic waves on this planet if we are not utilizing absolutely everything that we came to planet Earth equipped with to survive, to grow, and to thrive. So, so many people will be waking up on the planet, and I've been seeing this um, throughout the years. But we're going to have a massive wave that's coming in. And this wave actually um, really started at several points of entry. But I will tell you, starting in October, we had a massive wave of people waking up to who they are or starting to understand that there were more to them than just skin, blood, and bones. And oh, let me not forget, and a brain. (laughs) And a brain. So they're waking up. And you're going to see this everywhere. I think more than ever, you know, when I really started to do this work, it wasn't so many people doing readings, doing live readings, or, you know, now you can see readers. And it's such a beautiful thing to be able uh, to go on any platform or to walk around in your city and your town and to know that there are individuals who are operating, utilizing these spiritual systems. And that's a good thing. But also because of this massive awakening, we're going to see a lot of things that happen. 
And I know many of you have already felt it if you have not seen it. And so this energy of seven, even though it's very spiritual, it also comes with sort of some hidden energy, almost a cult-like, if you will, almost a sort of shadowishy. And I'm not talking about that in the sense of doing shadow work, but I'm talking about those things that are unseen. Because often when we think about the spiritual realm, this is not the realm that can be seen with your physical eyes. This is the realm that is invisible. This is the time for great manifestation. In fact, you know, I was in the Akasic Records, and when I was diving deep in the Akasic Records, and my guides were sharing some things with me, one of the things that they showed is that, you know, this is some beautiful energy. And of course, let us not forget the first full moon that's happening on January the 6th. And right now, as we speak, I am just minutes away from that. So I know you're feeling this energy, and it's in the beautiful sign of cancer. What a loving and nurturing way for us to be blessed with this energy in cancer at the start of the year. This is very feminine energy this cancer energy, which is going to be pulling on those psychic waters, those waters of knowledge that is inside of us, because cancer is going to be, you know, the full moon is going to be in its home sign of cancer. It's also a great time to go back and think about the new moon that we just had that was in Capricorn. Because you're going to see sort of that culmination of all of those things from the new moon and Capricorn coming up right now in the full moon of Cancer. Some shit that's going to make you say, oh, I get it now. It's starting to make sense. You're going to start to have clarity, clarity on your path, clarity on a lot of things that's happened, a lot of things that you may still be in the thick of as we speak. But hold that thought. So this new moon coming up in the sign of cancer, very nurturing energy. We're in a universal year of seven, very spiritual year. And all of this energy coming up together, it's really sort of unearthing a lot of things on the planet and in the atmosphere. I don't want to be too long-winded. I can go on and on about that, but I want to get to the point, and I know you're feeling me on that. And matter of fact, if you're listening to this right now and you are, please make sure you, you know, drop me some love in these comments here and let me know. (laughs) And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel as well. So you can not only get when we upload videos here, but also when we go live. But I wanted to talk to you about just this energy of coming into the year. You're going to have to use a lot of discernment this year because a lot of energy that's also mixed up with this energy, and I could see this in the records, a lot of trickster energy, a lot of energy that sort of, you know, it's it's like someone dangling something you want in front of you. But every time you take a step close, they pull back and pull back and pull back. And you keep trying to go forward and forward and forward, but it seems like it's being pulled away from you. That's the time to use discernment. Is this real or not? And so seven also connects with our internal landscape, our internal world. And so this is going to be the time that you are going to have to stomp your feet and wiggle your toes and stay very grounded, my dear friend. Grounded in your body, grounded in your heart, in your mind, and in your spirit. 
Because with so many people waking up on the planet, you're going to have those who feel like they're here to save the world. And I mean, who am I to tell your ass you are not here to save the world? You are here to save the world, but what you must understand, the world you're attempting to save is yourself. So I would say to you, you may get a dream, you may have a vision. It's a great time, whatever your practice is, whether it's God, the universe, the divine, whatever you call it, your higher self, to stay very in tune. Meditation helps. Walks in nature is excellent. Sitting in silence and just going within is perfect. Praying. Whatever that practice is, you are going to need to set yourself up with a good practice, a morning ritual, a grand rising occasion, and don't forget to make a great playlist. I call it a save me list. And on that save me list, you need to have for different occasions, maybe a save me list to really, really just put you in a very grounded place. Maybe another playlist that's going to be there to uplift you and raise your frequency and vibration on those days when we're just kind of like, yeah, not so much. But whatever the occasion is, get you a good playlist. Make sure you have a journal somewhere to express your thoughts in a place that's non-judgmental, in a place when you can freely get it out. These are going to be some important tools and techniques that really will help you during this year. There are some energy points that are going to be highly active this year. So I'm going to talk about the chakras real quick, but as you listen in, we will dive deeper into this as we get into other shows as well. The crown chakra, the heart chakra, the throat chakra, and the solar plex. Now, know that your energy centers work as an ecosystem. And so really, we could say every energy center this year is going to get a massive upgrade. And that is true to some degree. And it just depends on where you are on your spiritual journey, the downloads that are coming in, and the activations that we are receiving. In fact, during this full moon, we are receiving a major, major activation. And your nervous system is going to be front and center. That's going to receive an activation. So just keep those things in mind. Because we're getting upgrades to our DNA at this time. Our DNA, both physical and our spiritual DNA. So many of you are feeling this calling, and some of you right now, we were talking about this in the Self-Invested Workshop. Some of you feel like you're about to take off, but you don't know where you're going to go. And some of you right now, it feels like your energy has just been zapped, and all you can do is get some rest. Great time to listen to your body. Listen to your body, understand what your body is telling you, and really as much as possible, honor that. I know the water seems like it's going crazy all over the planet, but I want you to make sure that you're keeping yourself nice and hydrated because it's a lot of activity happening in your physical body. And the body is going to need to be hydrated during these upgrades. So make sure that you are blessing your water. You are charging your water up, setting and sending some good intention, not only in the water, but the food you're eating as well, because it truly will shift the vibration in the energy of how your food is being processed within and holding yourself in good and good frequencies as well. And just a little side note here, and I want you to remember this, you do not have to entertain 
every thought that comes in your mind. Make sure you are being present because there is something that's very special and magical that actually happens. And this is something that is not just, you know, me just saying this. This is literally backed up by science. If they were to take and really just monitor the frequencies in your brain and see the activity not only in your brain, but also the activity in your body when you are fully present in the moment, you are going to see something that lights up like no other starlight in the system. So be present. Because when you're present, you have access to all of your physical, your mental, and your spiritual gifts. Stay present as much as possible. We spend so much time thinking about the past. And then we speak, spend so much time thinking about the future. But remember, energy goes where thought flows. And the words and the thoughts and the vibration that you're speaking and holding in this moment is what actually is creating the future. So I know I said this earlier, but this is an excellent year to manifest. I would encourage you to really sit down and get clear on some things that you would love to accomplish this year. Put them all down, big, small, crazy, (laughs) whatever it is, whatever that's in your heart desire, write that down, make it clear, make it plain. You want to put those things down. And then when you have time and you're sitting there, take a few moments each day and really kind of write out what this really means to you. And that's going to be great to do during this full moon. But before we do that, we, we must do something else. And I'm so I'm going to take a couple of steps back and I want to take us to 2022. Because if you haven't had a chance to do that, let me tell you, you might even want to pause this shit right now and get you a piece of paper and listen. You might want to get into it. I want you to go back and reflect over 2022. And I don't know about you guys, but whew, geez, I had some pretty tender soft spots in 2022 and also had some very heartache things of loved ones and close friends passing away during this year. But then there were some very magical and very, um, you know, lots of fun that happened, lots of growth that I could see within myself. It also gave me an opportunity to really, in 2022, it highlighted to me. Now, maybe everybody else could see it, but 2022 highlighted where my weaknesses were. That shit was front and center, like, bam, bam in your face. So I want you to sit down and I want you to really just take the opportunity to kind of close out 2022. We're not closing it out for the year, but we're closing out some of this energy. And let me tell you the power of being able to close out some of this energy because this directly relates to manifesting things in your life. When we bring something to our consciousness, meaning our awareness, instantly our higher self is working on a solution. But if we ignore it, we will continue along with that pattern. And see, this is when, if you've never worked with the energy of the moon, where the moon can really help you out. Because during these cycles of the moon, and this is something that has gone on um, knowingly and unknowingly, 
you get an opportunity to see your patterns. So just like the planets have a pattern, you know, the sun appears and the sun goes away and the moon appears and the moon goes away. You know, we go through our seasons and nature has a pattern. We have patterns. And the moon can help you recognize your patterns. And as my daddy would say, it gives you an opportunity to check yourself, to catch yourself when you're doing this very, very reflective work. It's a part of self-love, I call it. I know many people have many names for it, but for me, it's a part of self-love. Looking at those places. So I would encourage you to sit down, really do some self-reflection. Notice I didn't say judgment. So you want to stay out of judgment. You want to just kind of do some self-reflection on all the things that kind of went on. And key places I want you to look at those things I just shared with you. But I also want you to look at where are your strengths? Where could you see your strengths at? You know, that shit that you know you are just flowing in, that's easy for you. And then I want you to look at, where is my weakness? Where is my challenges? It's important you take a look at this, especially right now. Because we still have so much time till we start getting into March and getting into when the real new year comes about. to do some corrections, to make some adjustments, to remix it. And when you see where those weaknesses are, you can begin to just drop down in your body because you want to come out of your mind. And I'm talking about the conscious mind. I'm talking about where that damn player hater is. That says, I can't believe you were that stupid. I can't believe you just didn't do anything, say anything, or I can't believe you did that. I don't want you to be asking these questions from that position. And by the way, seven is also connected to the process of breathing, right? (laughs) So... Take a couple of deep breaths, in and out, nice and slow. You know the drill. And then I want you to think about those things in your life. And ask yourself the question, when you're looking at your weakness, what is it that I want to do different? What pattern do I recognize that I have here? Is it a pattern that every time I get frustrated or I get upset, I start ignoring things? Is that the pattern? Is it a pattern that every time that I'm by myself, I feel like I need to do something or have someone with me? You know, whatever that pattern is, is it every time I get into a relationship or friendship, I forget about everything for me and I dive into the other person? Whatever that pattern is, Is it every time I have to get up and go to work, I think about how much I hate this place? (laughs) You know, it could be something that you may consider to be very small to something that is definitely impacting you in your life. But whatever comes up, whatever you feel is there, Even if you don't have the full understanding, I want you to just trust yourself and write that down. And then think about, what do I want to do different here? How do I want to change this pattern? You don't even need to think about what it is at this moment. Because some of these, we know the simple fix is to really just do something different. I really could see for myself personally, right? Like some of this shit was on autopilot. 
So I needed to interrupt the program. I needed to stop the program from just flowing. And then other things were a little bit more difficult. Maybe it was something I've been struggling with my whole, you know, adult life of bringing into balance, having that consistency. But I want you to drop down in your body. Take a couple of deep breaths. Drop down in your body. Hang out in the lower half of your body. You know, tap on your knees. And ask the question from there. And wait for the answer. I know many of you who are listening to me, we've done so much work and you can dive into the archives if you are new or if this is your first time here and you will just find information, knowledge on anything that you ever could think of. I'm sure it is there. But I want you to ask that question from the lower half of your body. Come out of your mind. And then wait for the answer. And I know many of you are used to using your intuition to get answers. But if you find there is no question coming up, I want to challenge you to use your intuition for questioning things as well. Because this is a part of the light that is inside of you. And we are truly becoming crystal light beings. Our DNA is upgrading us. And so much of the world around us is upgrading. And that is going to require a full embodied presence. Mind, body, and spirit for this upgrade to happen. Your DNA is changing. And so... You might have noticed that there's been this energy sort of floating around inside of your body, and many of you might have felt it in your solar plex, because this is truly the point of where all of your records are held. It's one of the entry points, and it's where a lot of the entry points of energy that comes into the physical body. It comes in through the solar plex. It comes in other places, but the solar plex, it comes in as well. Kundalini energy is going to be a big thing on the planet, like I said. Crown chakra all day, every day. Third eye, the pineal gland, you know, all of that. it's going to receive massive upgrades. And you have to be grounded enough to be able to receive those upgrades and take them all in. But it's going to require you to be present. Remember, it's only good if you're in your body, if you're floating out into the ethers somewhere. It's going to make you feel ungrounded. And the information is going to be so sporadic, it's going to be hard to sort of ground yourself. I truly, truly know, based on the work that I've been doing for the short time that I've been doing it, because I still feel like there's so much more for me to learn, is that all of us came here for a reason and for a purpose And a big part of that is really to understand not only how to love ourselves. See, the loving ourselves is the foundation. And that foundation opens you up to a different vibration or frequency to understand your purpose here on earth. Because if you're not being distracted by looking for things to bring satisfaction from the outside in, then the world can truly be yours. But if you're busy trying to fill a void on the inside, it's going to make this a very difficult ride. 
And so this whole movement of loving yourself and understanding what self-love is and recognizing that the God-Goddess energy lives within you and that you are the creator of your reality and life is not happening to you. But you are creating your life. It's a very empowering position to be in. And that empowering energy has a lot to do with the vibration of 2023, this seven energy. It's the embodiment of knowing who you are. And for those of you who are self-invested, and you guys know we have been doing... The Self-Invested Workshop for well over nine years. This is also the year that the world is becoming self-invested. Now, don't get me wrong. You know self-invested doesn't mean that because I'm investing in you, I'm taking away, investing in me, I'm taking away from you. It doesn't mean that. That means that we're all free to invest in each other. And really, really create, evolve, manifest, and be of service to others while on the planet. But understanding self-love is what opens the doors to all possibilities. And this is the year that all doors are unlocked. You just have to have the strength, the clarity, the understanding, the wisdom to know which doors you want to walk through. And that's what Planet Remix is going to be for you a place to really help to give you the tools, the techniques, and for us to have discussions and get understanding so that we are living not only our best life, but we are really creating a life, not just for ourselves, but all of those around us together. So here on Planet Remix, you'll hear me refer to, and I have been for so many years, as soul family. We are family here. It is a collective energy of us working here. It's a place where you can come and you don't have to feel weird. You don't have to feel strange or crazy or out of your mind. And you can get information that really assists you while growing up on planet Earth and also have some good fun (laughs) because we love to have fun here too. But I know you get the point. The other thing that I want to remind you to do is to really look around. This full moon energy in cancer is really calling you to have peace, to be in a place where you can grow and be nurtured. And I want you to look around at your physical environments and see about those things that you need to let go of. I also want you to check different patterns that you find yourself in. What do you need to stop doing? What do you need to let go of? Is it a thought? Is it sort of an idea? Is it a person? Is it a place? Is it a thing? What kind of things do you need to let go of and get yourself in this cosmic alignment so that you can get ready? Get ready for new things to come into your life. Yeah. I am very excited about this year to come. Now, don't get me wrong. I know that there's still work to be done. 
but I'm excited. I'm excited about the work that we're going to do here, all of us together. I'm excited about the things that you will be bringing to the table as well. Hmm. So, yeah. Now, that brings me to (laughs) another thing that I want to talk about. And that is, I also want to remind you that this is a great time to get things in order. Get your house in order. Get important documents in order. Take an opportunity to really do some feng shui, you know, and if you aren't sure what feng shui is, it is a practice. It started in the East, but every culture around the world understood the significance of feng shui. And it basically what it is, like kundalini energy moves through your body. We also have life force energy, chi energy that moves through our sacred space, our home. And so I want you to look around in your home and I want you to clean things up. And again, do some feng shui. First step is clearing, get rid of some things. Find a place where you can donate or maybe uh, a place where you can sell some things that someone else can use or some things that just need to be thrown out. If you have broken dishes, if you have stained towels and washcloths, you know, um, if you have things that are not working that can't be repaired to get rid of, if you have some objects or things in your house that, eh, you know, it doesn't have good memory, but you're just holding on for the sake of holding on. Remember, everything has consciousness in it. And we have relationships with not just people in our lives and not just our furry friends in our lives, but we have relationships with everything. And everything is made out of energy. And inside of these energy, there is consciousness in everything. Everything has consciousness in it. It reminded me when me and my brother were first learning how to drive. (laughs) And my father wouldn't dare let us drive his car, but my mother would let us, once we got our license, take her car. And my mother used to have her radio set on a particular radio station. And she would always tell us, don't touch my radio. And me and my brother would get in the car and we'd be driving to the store or going somewhere to hang out with our friends. And we would go to touch that radio station and it would just, I mean, it would be so crazy. And then all of a sudden we would just put it back on the radio station. And I remember one time, uh, I think we went to a school function or party and my brother was driving and he wanted to show out for his friends because they were riding with us and he put it on another radio station and all of a sudden the car started stalling. (laughs) And all of our friends was going, oh, your car is possessed, it's possessed, it's possessed, you know. And then as soon as we put it back on my mom's radio station, the car cranked up. I tell you that story so that you know everything has a consciousness in it. I literally, I thank my microphone. I thank my computer. I, you know, thank my pen and my paper and my cell phone because I want everything that I'm working with to be in sync with me. And I promise you, if there are some clues that I am not getting from the universe, the computer The systems I'm working with, everything around me will be sending me messages. And so I tell you that not so you can begin to worship things. This is certainly not the point of that. But here is the greater understanding of this. And if we're going to look at it from a metaphysical point of view, the greater point of this is everything that's in your home and even those things that are not in your home, those things that are connected to you, has a consciousness in it. 
And based on the consciousness of what energy you are putting out, that is the energy that it is performing to. Hate to keep using a reference as a car, but what happens if you have a car and you never get the tires checked, you never change the oil, uh, you don't do anything to take care of it, it will start to fall apart. The same thing will happen with your house. And more importantly, the same thing that will happen to the most holiest of holiest of sacred places on the planet, which is your physical body, your temple. If you don't take care of it, it will start to fall apart. So I give you that as a reminder to make sure that we are good stewards, and we've heard that reference, being a good steward of those things that are connected to us because they are an extension of who we are. When I'm doing feng shui readings in people's houses, I can do a whole reading even without the people present based on the things that are in their house. Know that every single thing that's placed in your house, the color, uh, the object, where it's placed, It's not there by accident. It's representing a part of your consciousness and of who you are. And just like you want to represent, we want to represent all the things that we're doing to the best of our ability, right? So do some feng shui, clean some things out. I'm still in the process of switching my studio around. I want to do something totally different in here. And so that's going to be an ongoing process. I'll sure to share the story along the way with you guys <laughs> as I get things in order here. And I want you all to do that as well. Now, earlier in the year, I gave out a crystal for 2023. And that crystal for 2023 is the ruby crystal. Of course, there'll be more to come along, but that ruby crystal is going to be so magical for you to start working with that particular energy. It's really going to help you tap into so much of what's going to be prominent this year, which is red light. Red light, healing light. And really just us, because we have blood flowing through us and our nervous system. I seen this vision and it was a vision of a human body. And I could see all the veins in the body. And these are the veins where the nervous system is running. And then I just seen all of these downloads coming in, upgrading, upgrading the energy in our bodies. We are truly electric beings. And it's time that we really understand and recognize our greatness of who we are. While loving ourselves and loving the world, listen, I'm not walking around with rose-colored glasses. Nor do I think that planet Earth is going to be this place of nirvana where everyone is at peace and we're all kumbaya hugging and loving each other. Because quite frankly, we live in a dimension that has contrasting particles. And so these contrasting particles are here. Because these contrasting particles are here because every time that you speak, communication is going to be so key. Your words, your words, your thoughts, your energy, your vibration. You are choosing where you want to be, in what frequency, in what dimension. So think of dimensions. You'll hear a lot of talk about going to the fifth dimension or whatever dimension people talks about. This is based on your frequency or vibration. Another way to look at it is whether you're in the new earth or the old earth. It's going to be based on your frequency. It's going to be based on your vibration. This is a year of receiving. The mind is going to be heavily active. 
So we have to make sure that we are doing the work that we need to do to stay balanced between our intellect and our intuition so our super consciousness can activate. And not just in time of trauma or distress, but this is a normal state for the avatars that we are that we have chosen to embody, to have access to. Well, that is going to do it for me. I just wanted to come on and give a message for you all. I love you. I want to hear your thoughts below. Please share with me about your takeaway from us just having this little chat here. And of course, we'll have more. But also, you know, what are what are some of the things that you are looking forward to in 2023? What are some of the patterns that you are breaking? And what ritual or practice are you looking forward to do during this new moon? this new moon that's coming right now. Also, I want to remind you, um, I got a poll going on the channel. So definitely make sure you like and subscribe and also share this with a friend or someone you know. You know, if it was something in here that was good for you, share this. We're going to be doing lots of readings here. I'm going to be sharing so many things with you guys. I have a lot of new things that are coming up for Planet Remix, and I'm excited uh, to share those things with you. And I'm also always, always interested in hearing from you and know what you have going on in your world, in your life um, as well. That's important to me. And uh, a lot of great things coming out of the Akasic Records and a lot of things as it relates to this quantum leap that we're all taking and understanding about the activations. Because this year, oh my goodness, it is packed with activation as well as some upcoming things. So I love you all, Soul Family. Thank you so much for being on this journey, for us being on this journey together. Remember, love is the only thing real here. So I will talk to you soon. Peace and love. Ciao. Greetings. Oops, that's not what I want to play. But I do, (laughs) I know, I'm always going to keep it 100, but I do want to play something for you on our way out. So peace and love. Ciao. Oh yeah, 
We are going to be creating and riding cosmic waves on Planet Remix. <laughs> well, peace and love, soul family. I look forward to hearing from each and every single one of you. Ashe to the ancestors and blessings, love and light to you. Oh my goodness. <laughs>